Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and we'll mute him. Yes, we'll definitely mute him. Uh, this is something that's been there for a while, and I just kind of overlooked it. I think I had looked at the fact that it was there before, but I couldn't find documentation, so I just didn't try it. And that's a plug-in, and this is the plug-in right here. And if we come over to plugins, this is the plugin Cloud Markers. And it's similar to the plugin Fran, which I've shown you in the past. And I found out details about this the other day from a video on the Tech Minds channel. And he did a review of this, did a quick review of this. And what it is, similar to Fran, it gives you a database of stations that are on the air by the frequency. And it opens up this big screen here. And when you stop on a frequency, like I'm on 5.95, it lists stations, international broadcast stations, near that frequency. So here's one at 5.94. 5.960, and so on. And it puts a marker, down here you can see the marker, on the frequency you're at. Now there are, there are three of them on that frequency, but let me move this over here for a while. But it only shows the one. I don't know how it determines which one to show. But it's showing this one here. Now, maybe if I click on this one, yeah, it shows that one. So as you click on them, uh, it shows them on the screen. Now, you can, when you enter this, these are all entered by somebody else. When you enter this, you can have it set up of where it displays this information. That way you can have them offset from each other. So if I edit this one, this one right here, if I edit it, then you can change all these parameters, including the offset. And it's interesting is I think this is the offset, but there's also an option center marker within bandwidth, and it's grayed out. I don't know why. It's, again, I haven't found any documentation on this, so I haven't used it before. But anyway, you can enter all this stuff, or you can look at what's in the database from other people. And so, if you found like here. I'm just gonna, let, me, let me cancel this. So let me go over to here. And there's a bunch of entries there. I was trying to find one that didn't have any entries, but apparently this database is pretty full. But anyway, if you found a station that it didn't have any entries, you could add, add an entry and then fill in Excuse me. Go ahead and fill in all this stuff here. And mark that you spotted. And share the marker to everybody else. Or you can just have it on your local database. And only I and only you can see it. But you want to share it. Okay, so let's cancel this again. Um, another thing, you come up here to settings. And you can change the color of the various things that are in that screen I showed you before. Like I've changed them a little bit already because I didn't like the colors. So I'm going to cancel this right now. And I didn't change. Let me see if I can find one that's got other things besides just AM. Yeah, I probably won't find one. Okay, there's one. 
So there's one that's in the data bags. It's, um, it's got one that doesn't have a mode. So I guess the mode is unknown. So I, this was hard to read. The color was hard to read. So I changed unknown to, let me go up here, see if I can find it. Um, unknown. Well, I thought I changed it. Unknown, unknown. All right, unknown. Yeah, I changed this to nearly white. F, 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 F is all white. And what I had to do, because I don't know these codes, these are hex color codes. I had to go on the internet and find a converter of a hex number to a color. Found a little utility. And that's how I figured out, because I didn't know how to do this. Figured out how, what kind of numbers to put in here for particular codes. So the color, um, let's see, I'm looking for broadcast. There's the color for broadcast. And if I cancel this, cancel, cancel, you'll see that's green on green. I don't like that. So I need to change this. Don't know of any way of changing the background. This is the typical Windows background for this program. You know, all these have this greenish color. So I need to go in and change that so that it's a different color. But I, like I say, I, I don't know the numbers offhand, so I have to manually use a little program to figure out what to put in here for the various color codes to get the color I want. Anyway, let's get off that. Okay, cancel. You can also, if I pick one down here, it brings up more information down here. And if I, let's see, do I have to? Yeah, if you double click, then you get this page that I showed you before with all kinds of information about the mode, the country, all kinds of stuff. And you can edit this stuff if you want to. So I'm not going to edit it and save it. I'm just going to cancel. You can also, and this one doesn't have any shared, which probably means um, our votes. This is a vote. This is where you can say, ah, oh, okay, I'm going to vote on this. And if you click on vote, then you have the choice of yes is a plus. No is a minus, and C is a cancel for not voting. So I'm going to cancel. So, for instance, if I found this, let's go to this one right here. That's nice and loud. Strong signal. So, and that's at 5.950. That sounds familiar. So I come down here, and that's WRMI. So I could select that, and notice the... ID showed up. Excuse me for one second. Good grief. I cannot believe all the robocalls I get. Anyway, this is the ID that shows up now. Then I could double click on it. Brings this up. I could modify things or even put in a description. And then I could share that description. Like you know, I could say, this comes in loud and clear here in Tampa Bay, Florida area. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, also, you can vote for it. Now, I've already voted for this once. I will see if it will increase that number. At least I think I have. So I can click vote. And I want to say yes, meaning I'm getting it strong. And it went up. So you can use this to see if other people have voted yes for this particular station. I don't know what the criteria should be, but anyway, I voted yes. Up here, it shows you two numbers, commit ID, I don't know what that means, and markers. I think this is the number of markers in the database, 4,210 right now. In the video I watched by Tech Minds. This was a much lower video number. It's like 3,000-something. 
So it's going up. And I'm sure that as people watch his show, and maybe if they watch my show, then there'll be more users and there'll be more markers because you can add markers. I think I've covered everything. I really like this. This one thing I'm struggling with is it's so big. It covers up everything. On my, I think I is a 23-inch screen. You can't resize it. You can try, but it doesn't work. And it makes sense because it's just you cut off information. It's resized it. So the thing I'm going to have to consider is what can I do without? You know, maybe this screen up here. Let me see how it would fit up there. Yeah, Width-wise, it wouldn't be too bad, but now it's still cutting into this area. And like I say, I can't can't change it, the dimension of this window. I could I could move this down so I could see, you know, where it's putting the IDs. I'll have to play with that. If you have any suggestions, I'd appreciate it. Or if you have any more information than I've been able to find or corrections to things I said, please leave a comment. So I, I really like this plugin and I want to start using it more. I just got to optimize my windows so it's more useful. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And have a great day. Bye-bye.